Good morning. I just wanted to provide a quick update about um, virtual and in-person learning and then also talk about a new schedule that we're going to be starting on Monday. So this is the update that I have about in-person learning. Originally, um, I was told that you would be coming or your scholar would be coming to school two days a week if they were going to return in person. Um, that has changed. And a lot of the reason why that changed is just because we didn't have um, as many students coming back as we thought we did. So we can have students come four days a week now. So grades three through five as of right now are still going to come back in person March 15th if you are choosing that they're going to do in-person learning. If you're gonna choose virtual, they'll just stay virtual. If your scholar is gonna be doing in-person learning, they're gonna to come to school four days a week. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's gonna be from 9.30 to 2.30. Um, so the same time that virtual learning is happening and I should be getting a schedule very soon that I could provide about health and safety checks, pick up and drop off and all of that. If your scholar is going to stay doing virtual learning, they'll just log into the Zoom as normal from 9.30 to 2.30 from Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. And then everyone is going to do small group Wednesday virtually. So that's not changing. Everyone is still going to do small group Wednesday virtually. So starting on Monday, February 22nd, we are going to be starting a new schedule. And the reason why we're doing this is because that this is gonna be our schedule when we return in person. And so there are a lot of changes to it and we wanna get started or get, we wanna get used to this schedule before we come in person. That way we're not trying to figure out in-person learning and a new schedule. So, um, from nine to 9.30, we're gonna have morning announcements again now next week which is the week of February 22nd through the 26th, we will not have morning announcements, but normally we would have morning announcements at this time. School is still gonna start at 9.30. However, scholars will either have small group or they will have resource. So what that's gonna look like is I'm going to decide who needs to come to small group that day. And if they need to come to small group, they're gonna to come to small group. If they don't need to come to small group that day, they're gonna to go to resource. So for resource, um, fourth grade will now have coach Dante four times a week. So coach Dante is returning and he will be their resource teacher Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I have not heard about Wednesday yet, but once I do, I will let you know. So that's a big change because now they're having one resource teacher and it's a resource teacher that they haven't had this year, but they know coach Dante. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. So if they have small group, they will come to small group and then go to coach Dante. So let's say, for example, I say that your scholar needs to come to small group from 9:30 to 10 at 9 30, they're going to come to my zoom and we're going to do small group. And then at 10, they're going to go to coach Dante's zoom and finish out resource. The flip side of that is if I need them to come to small group from 10 to 1030. So if that's the case, then they're going to go to coach Dante from 930 to 10. And then at 10, they're going to come to my link to do small group. The last option or the last thing that could happen for them is that I say you don't need small group today. And in that event, they would just go to Coach Dante from 9.30 to 10.15. And then they would have a 15 minute break from 10.15 to 10.30. And then at 10.30, everyone joins my Zoom. So if your student has small group with me at 9.30, or if they don't have small group at all, they will have a break between 10.15 and 10.30. If they have small group with me from 10 to 1030, they will not have a break. I'm going to try to make it as fair as possible. And I'm going to try not to schedule the same students at this time every day. That way students can get that break. Um, I'm still figuring that out, but that's just something to, to know is that from 1015 to 1030, your scholar might not be logged on at all. And that's because they're on break. So at 1030, that's when our whole group instruction starts. So 10.30 to 11, we have math. From 11.30 to 12, we have just words. From 12 to 12.45, we'll do wit and wisdom. 
And then this is another new change. From 1245 to 145, they are going to have lunch. Now, when we return in person, 30 minutes of that hour will be devoted to health and safety checks, just to make sure that we are doing what we can to socially distance and make sure that everyone is healthy. Since we are starting the schedule next week and we won't be in person, your scholar is going to have that entire hour for lunch. So I will not be doing health and safety checks until we go back in person. So until we go back in person, they're gonna have that entire hour for lunch. Now I recognize that 1245 is very late for lunch. So I am okay with eating snacks in school. The only thing I ask is that they bring their snack to their device and that they are still paying attention to school. Okay, so I don't want anyone, you know, being hungry or dealing with emotions when they're hungry because I, I, yeah, I'm not in a good mood when I'm hungry. So I, I'm perfectly okay with bringing a snack earlier in the day. After lunch ends at 1.45, we're going to have Witten, we're going to finish out Witten Wisdom from 1.45 to 2 and then from 2 to 2.30 Science or Social Studies. The school day will end at 2.30 as normal. So for small group, I'm going to post an announcement every single morning that's going to tell students if they have small group or not. So that is where um, making sure that we're checking the Google Classroom is going to be really important because it's going to change day to day. Because they won't be at the same small group time every day. Now next week is probably going to be um, a little bit hectic, just trying to get us in the right place. So I'll, I'm definitely going to practice patience with that. And um, if a student misses small group or misses resource because they, you know, misread the schedule next week, that is fine. We will, we will get into the habit of being able to uh, read our schedule. I just wanted to provide an update on that. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I appreciate your patience with us as we figure out in-person learning and this new schedule. Um, yeah, and if you need anything, please let me know.